Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC out here at the Avon Park Herald Modelist Club. Going to take up the FMS Assault Rafale, 80 millimeter. Going to have a little bit of fun running a 5000 Liperior um, Lipo. The discharge on the 5000 is 65, 65C discharge. So should have plenty of punch. I'll show you after the flight. Where she CG's at? Right, left, up, down, right, left, up, down, right, left, up, right, up, down, right, left, right, left. All right. Motor on. Gonna run in my high rates, which for me. Are 90% over 20% expo. We'll not be using the onboard flap system that's pre mixed. Um, and I have found that that flap, that crow flap system, FMS actually doesn't recommend you using it for landing. They recommend you use it to slow down when you're on a runway. But if you bring this plane in at a nice high alpha, you don't have to worry about it. All right, timer set for three and a half minutes. Oh, quit stalling. Let's go. Hurry. Whoa. Woo. AS3X mode. Woo. Boy, is I nervous. Safe mode. All right, I didn't have it in safe mode. AS3X mode. AS3X mode. All right. Well, I'm just a bundle of nerves today. Absolute bundle of nerves today. Let me shake this off. Yeah, this plane used the whole runway. All right, let me go with my rates here a little bit. I'm gonna increase the throw to 100% on my elevator. All right, here we go. The plane naturally wants to high alpha on you. Let her settle in. There we go. Careful how quick you turn her, see? 
That's what can happen. Yeah, folks, I'm not using any kind of flap to slow it to stop her. No kind of flap. All right. Into the wind there. And there you go, folks. That is the 80 millimeter FMS Basalt Rafal. And usually you can tell when I'm not talking, I'm either super relaxed and forgetting the talk, or I'm really nervous. And this time, really nervous. Even though she's an easy to fly plane, I still want to, with a jet in my mind, I'm thinking you got to have flaps to slow her down. Well, she just naturally, when you come in, you got them gear down, and you just barely touch that nose, she just comes into a nice uh, high alpha almost completely on her own without you doing anything. I mean, just as soon as you put the gear down, she'll actually start doing that on you, just naturally. And you fly around happy like that. So when you come in, you can just high alpha, and, and that front gear is really reinforced that's made to, for it to kind of nose, nose to come down kind of suddenly. But... Uh, awesome awesome plane motor off let me show you these gear real quick uh, be careful how you pick her up um, okay well watch these gear you gotta remember pay attention to them doors that takes time okay and then you got them door them doors stopping well in the meantime if you're in a, a turn with a wind going against your side and you got them doors down, you're going to react. So understand that. But uh, so just keep that in mind. Great flying plane. See, time. And uh, let's take a look at our, oh goodness, look at our battery placement. I'm running a 5000 Laperier uh, with a 65 5006S. Um, you got the battery bay okay? Um, you'll see there's a wood, there's a foam cut out there. Almost about a finger length and a half is where I start my 5,000 going backwards. And uh, you've got these two plastic uh, structures here to work the canards. The battery ends just beyond those. So that's where um, that goes. The plane's got lights all over her. Obviously, I'm running without the. Uh, ordinance but uh, let's look at how beautiful that plane is now I do have a coat of uh, men wax on it it really brings that color out the let's put our gear back down because I want to show you CG and you know CG really needs to be tested with the gear up because you're looking at how she flies in flight and normally you're not going to fly with your gear down so CG for a landmark is there's a plastic doubler piece find your light there's a plastic doubler piece and about halfway in or at the apex of this stripe is your CG placement so now well, she's a little nose heavy so right about there, I could use that, put that battery. Yeah, that battery is heavier than other, a lot of other 5,000s. So if I remember right, last time I flew her with a 
a uh, Spectrum 5000 and they're lighter so should pull that battery back just a touch and should CG fine if you want to look for markings on top you find your metal screw and then about an inch in from that metal screw is where she uh, CG's at well there you go folks that is the FMS the Salt Rafal 80 millimeter, an amazingly amazing fi flying jet. I do not recommend using the um, pre-mix for the crow and the flaps that come with the uh, control board. That's you got to split the fuselage in half to get to it. So don't even try. Um, she high alphas in just fine. And that's that's this is a high alpha landing right here. Come in like that, and then the nose sets down, and she'll stop in basically half the runway. Or almost uh, maybe a little bit more and uh, she she flans just fine just like that very very manageable thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe god bless y'all and don't forget faith family and friends and then jets oh did I tell you how much was left on the battery I don't think I did <laughs> I know I'm asking y'all or watching the back video a couple of days later after I shoot it but I don't think I I flew for a full three and a half minutes let me check the battery battery is warm but you got to remember it's got a great big EDF unit in there so it's going to suck down your battery you jets eat lipos they absolutely eat lipos so you have to be aware of that okay. 38 percent perfect perfect all right Y'all have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And that is that Liperior battery. I'll put a link in the this description for this battery. Uh, great battery. They're cheaper than Spectrum, but they're, they perform just as good. This is a 5000 a 6S with a 65C discharge. You can get it in, in a EC5 or an XT90. I have an XT90 with an EC5 adapter. Only because when I bought the battery, all they had available was the XT90s. Um, I'll also put a link to the purchase of this plane in uh, my description of the video. Big shout out to Hobby Zone for sending me out the Rafal for uh, review. Um, if you use that link, and then when you put the plane in your basket, if you're going to buy it, use that link, put it in your basket, and then in that coupon field, you'll see a little window there. Put in FGFRC, FG FRC, and you can take $10 off the price of this, which, hey, 10 bucks is 10 bucks, and it helps me out. So I'm an affiliate. They sent it out. That's the deal. Um, the only thing I can say negative about the plane is I think it needs a little more power. It seems like it kind of struggles to get up off the deck with a big 5,000. I might try a 4,000 in there just to see if it's a little bit better. Um, but uh, she does seem to struggle a little bit. So I'm the guy was of course taken off into the wind. That's my only negative, but um, RC Geek has some um, inserts that you can put in the nozzle. There's glue in the nozzle back here, the exhaust uh, discharge. And it's supposed to increase your uh, power by, I don't know what the percentage is, but give you a little more power. But she still flies fine just the way she is. And you don't have to do any mixing with the canards. It's, everything's already done for you. You just set it up as uh, you don't even have to set it up as Elevon. You just set it up on, as a one wing, one one, ele, one aileron, one flap, and she, you get everything. The mixing board takes care of everything for you. All right, folks, y'all have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. Don't forget, faith, family, and friends, and then awesome jets and great batteries, Liperior. Bye bye.